Hello everybody, Star Irk here. For video number two of Countdown to Endgame, we'll be looking back at an Iron Man 3 set back from 2013, set 76007-1, Iron Man Malibu Mansion Attack. It's got 364 pieces and 5 minifigures. Let's get started. Here is Tony Stark. He's got that classic Lego hairpiece in dark brown. His face has a very confident expression and a very scared one here on the back, which I believe is exclusive to this set. Back in the front, his torso has a nice t-shirt design with the arc reactor poking out. Also some nice muscle detailing. There's also some print on the back. He's got dark gray arms and standard black legs. Here's Pepper Potts. She's got a nice ponytail piece in orange. Her face print is nice with that lipstick and freckle detailing. Her alternate expression is also very scared, similar to Tony. There's also a good look at the back torso printing. Her torso definitely has a pantsuit design with those buttons and pockets. One side of her collar is folded over, which is pretty interesting, and she has a gold necklace on. Of course, she has normal white legs also. Next up here, we have the Mark 42 Iron Man suit. Now, I'm not a big armor guy. All the Iron Man suits kind of look the same to me. Same with Stormtroopers, Clone Troopers, etc. Anyway, I can tell this one has a lot of gold detail that a lot of them don't have. It's very nice and goes all the way from the bottom to the top and also on the back. Nobody's wearing the armor, as you can tell by this plain white head inside, but some set pictures show Pepper's head inside. That looks a little something like this. Here's the Mandarin, or should I say Trevor Slattery acting as the Mandarin. Spoiler alert. He's got that slicked back hairpiece in black, a black beard, and a dark green cape. If you take all that stuff off, you can see the printing better. One facial expression is very determined, while the other is more of a resting face. He's got lots of wrinkles and some serious bags under his eyes. He has some nice green and gold robe detailing that goes onto his legs and the back. He's also got a circle on his chest. I'm not really sure what that is. I haven't seen the movie in a while. It may have some significance. I try to block this movie from my memory. He also comes with a pistol. Lastly, we've got this extremist soldier. He has the same hairpiece as Tony, but his face is very unique. On one side, he looks pretty normal, but on the other side, boom, he's got a bunch of red lines. Plus, his whole head glows in the dark. His torso has similar red lines and also some muscle detailing. And a zipper, because why not? He has black hands and legs. Here's Dumb E, Tony Stark's robot. He's got what looks to be wheels on the bottom and a nice arm build to hold Tony's armor suitcase. On this side, there is a clip to hold a fire extinguisher. Here's a closer look at that suitcase. It's just a standard Lego light bluish gray suitcase with a sticker on both sides to give it that armor detailing. Here's the Mandarin's helicopter. Sorry for the dust, it's been sitting on a shelf for a very long time. I tried to dust it off, but it didn't all come off. It's mostly black with some green, yellow, and gray detailing. It's got landing skis on the bottom here, a propeller on this side, and a giant propeller on the top. It's got a sticker right here on both sides, plus one giant one on the roof. This clip right here, there's one on each side, is meant to hold the Mandarin's gun. Also, there are two flick missiles on both sides, and you can take the roof off like so to fit in a minifigure. Plus, a minifigure can stand right here. Here's the mansion itself. It's got some really nice white architecture all over the front, especially this roof here. There's a sticker here and here, plus one on each window. They look like alerts for Tony Stark. This one actually has the Mandarin's helicopter on it. There's also some nice rocky detailing right here uh, because the mansion is on a giant cliff. Now this side doesn't look as good, but that's expected in Lego sets to have at least one side that's not really supposed to be looked at which is totally understandable. This lever right here is for a function I'll show you later. If you turn it around, there's a lot of nice detailing on the inside. For example, these green drawers right here, this blender with oranges inside, and this clear mug. On this wall, you have some really nice blue clear paneling with stickers to simulate some suits. 
This one is the Mark 6, and this one is the Mark 7. That's right, I know my Roman numerals. Mark 6 looks to be fully charged at 100%, uh, while Mark 7 is only at 40. There are some jumpers down here to put Mark 42 and one other suit that you may have in your collection. That lever back here is so you can push and those pop off. Moving over here, there's this nice work area for Tony Stark to work at. Uh, there's some nice blue screens here with detailing via stickers. This whole thing also spins around. There are two clips right here to hold a wrench and a hammer. One last thing, there's one more function. If you push this lever, the window falls through. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Next week, we'll be looking at a Guardians of the Galaxy set since they didn't make sets for Thor of the Dark World or Winter Soldier. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.